Right, folks, welcome back to another episode of our Football Manager Save. Here we are with Southampton. Here we go. This is our Champions League group. We've got Juventus Olympic. I was going to say Olympiacos. No, it's Lyon and Valencia. So a pretty tough group, Group F. And uh, as you can see, currently sitting a third in the Premier League as well. And... Um, St. Mary's Cup, that was our friendly tournament. We did win that, so we've lifted some, some silverware as well. Um, got Brighton in the Carabao Cup on the 23rd, and we haven't uh, had our FA Cup draw just yet. So, so far, so good. Three wins from four in the league, and I'll show you those results shortly. But we're also finished with the transfer window now. So I better show you the ins and outs. It's been a cracker. Zalud has left us. He's gone back to uh, the Czech Republic to play for Duk Dukla Prague. I I've got no idea how that is pronounced. Um, yeah. He bought it for 85k and we've only sold him for 7.25k. So... Bit of a waste of money on that one. He didn't really do a huge amount, but he had the experience, and that's all that matters. Lee Smith was another youngster that we let go. This time we let him go to Burnley. He does have good determination and everything, uh, but 600k. His potential wasn't exactly the greatest thing in the world, and yeah, he played for us twice. Uh, this fella, Henry, just loaned it out about five times every season. With the last three seasons, he's been on loan. Um, but we sold him to Aberdeen in the Scottish Premier League for 950k, so not too bad, I guess, although valuation now is 2.5 mil, so I guess we probably could have got a bit more for him, but not too bothered, really. Luca Montepieto, um, we did bring him in for 2.2 million a couple of seasons ago. We loaned him out to Charlton the first season he was here. He didn't do too bad, three goals and two assists and 36 games, he came back to us, he went to Wigan, we had to recall him last season because he just wasn't getting any game time, um, yeah, and it's sort of stumped his development a little bit, so we've moved him on, he's off to France to play for Clement Foot, and uh, yeah, once was once was a promising youngster, hopefully he can still pick up, uh, he is still young at 21 years old, but yes, unfortunately his development was hampered, hamp hampered, can't speak. Yeah, hopefully he picks it back up. But yeah, taking a bit of a loss on him so far. Marcus Antonio, another player that um, we brought in that was a winger. Um, never actually played for us. We bought him for 3.8 million. We loaned him back to Tenerife for two seasons. Did pretty good in 24-25. Um, 10 goals, 3 assists. Then last season when I loaned to Birmingham. 4 goals, 1 assist. Not too bad. Um, but Real Valid Deloitte came in with an offer, 6.25 mil, basically doubled our money, just under, and yeah, off he goes. He he looks like he could be decent, but I don't think he's going to be raking into the first team, especially with Yenizai, Balatic, Diangana, they're all there, so, especially when he wants to play on that right wing. So, see you, Marcos. Uh, Philip Pitosevic uh, is another player that we have sold. Another one that we sent out on loan last couple of seasons. He's been on loan at Birmingham City. Hasn't done huge amounts there. Played a decent amount of games. Um, but there we sold him to Brentford for 14.25 million. Um, so yeah, hopefully he does all right there. He's, he's played for us a few times, nine times in total for Southampton. We only bought him in for six mil, so it's not a huge, huge loss. And hopefully he can fulfill some of his potential. He's still looking pretty decent. Uh, Jada Valencia has left us as well, despite having uh, really good, well-rounded stats. He was a bit complaining about his game time. Some that we only bought in for two mil. He spent two seasons out on loan. He's come back and played two seasons here, mainly just a, a part, sort of a bench figure. Um, but we sold him to Galatasaray, 14.5 mil. Not too bad. I'm happy with that. And last but not least, the biggest uh, sale of the season was Jose Antonio Martinez. Um, so he played that we bought in a couple of seasons ago for 26 million, played him 19 times, and he only got one assist. Pretty useless, although we did say 
I will say we did bring him off the bench 10 times, so it's not too bad. Uh, he went on loan last season to Real Sociedad in Spain. He didn't do too bad. Eight goals, three assists in 29 games, isn't too shabby. And Mainz have come in with an offer of 30 million for the fella. So he's already played four games and scored one for them. So I can get on him. We've made our money back and a bit more. So I'm happy with that. And hopefully he'll become better. He, he's not too bad, but he's got well-rounded stats. It's just a shame he couldn't really perform when we needed him to. And now we go through our signings. So Mimit, Mimit, Mizit, Tusky. I want to say, is a centre-back that we brought in from Hertha Berlin. And you won't believe how much we paid for him. Absolutely nothing. Got him on a free transfer, and he's all, I was just not expecting him to be worth $34 million. I just saw that he was a wonder kid, and I was like, oh yeah, he's got some decent stats. So I signed him, not expecting him to be this good so far. But, yeah. He is uh, pretty, pretty good. Very much love the determination, the marking, the tackling, the jumping. It's fantastic. He looks like he's going to be a beast. Replacement striker, uh, Victor Palacio. Hopefully someone that is uh, actually going to score some goals for us. Um, brought him in from Elche in uh, Spain. 14 goals last season, 10 goals the season before. And then he's just played in Colombia. As a youngster, Elche made a huge amount of money on him. Uh, 1.9 million they paid for him, and we've bought him in for 33 and a half. So, I mean, he's not too bad. Like, his dribbling, his first touch, and his finishing up bad. His technique's decent. His off the ball, his flair, his determination, agility. All looks pretty good. Um, yeah, he's, he's got decent potential. He's probably just going to be sort of a, a bench player for us anyway. He's not going to be too bad. Um, but, yeah, hopefully it's not a waste of 30 33 and a half million. Hopefully not. And this is the big one. Jeremy Doku or Doku. Not too sure which way you want to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, he's come in from Stade Rene. They bought him for 48 million, sold him to us for 75. Although potential add ons, it may cost upwards of, well, including add ons, it will cost about 90 in total. So God forbid it gets up to that. But still, hopefully. Um, He's an elite winger, so hopefully he does some decent stuff for us. Now, unfortunately, he is already injured. He does have a concussion from a fall in training, but he has got fantastic stats. Um, and, yeah, we needed someone that was one of the... I mean, he, he counts as one of the world's global superstars, apparently. Um, and he is pretty, pretty decent. So very happy to see that. Um, 42 goals and 200 appearances for Stade Rene and yeah I mean hope, hopefully he does actually perform for us because we will need we will need him for Champions League games to come up big he's 24 he's got 50 caps for Belgium worth 112 so we could probably sell him for a profit anyway but yeah that is our three signings uh, not a huge amount the last couple of seasons no when you look last season, we didn't bring in too many uh, first-team players. Balatic, we didn't expect to be a first-team player. Roy Patricio only played for us once, and now he's retired, being a manager. Callum Wilson, he also didn't really play much, and he's now retired as a director of football. Ben Ambulung didn't really play much. Um, but yeah, we haven't really been making a huge amount. I will go through. There is quite a few of the um, loan deals as well. Sam Lloyd's off to Wickham. Uh, Matthias Augusto, he's another striker of ours. Uh, he's gone to Nimes Olympic last season. He was on loan at Racing Santander. Eight goals in 30, 24 games is not too bad, uh, but now he's gone to Ligon, and we'll see how he does there. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, David Miller, he's gone out on loan to Racing Santander. Um, they are one of our affiliate clubs, so we'll see a few players maybe go there, and that's why they're in purple. Sam Braithwaite's off to Hull. Matt Sears to Port Vale. Hector Verzico, he's uh, the Mexican goalkeeper that we got last season. He's gone to play for Hertha Berlin for a little bit, just on loan as a backup. Roger Allsop, uh, he's off to Accrington. Reese Williams to Sunderland. Uh, 
Another goalkeeper, Ferret San. He's off uh, to Swansea. Andre Sheenan to Middlesbrough. Chris McDevitt to Birmingham. Eric Onana. He is uh, playing for Wigan at the moment on loan. Con Lancashire is also at Racing Santander. Rhys Munro is at Birmingham. Probably wouldn't have seen Rhys Munro a lot, actually. No, that's Connor. Rhys Munro, he is... He must have came in at, yeah, three seasons ago. 3.6 mil and he's just been loaned out for a bit. And he hasn't even played for us. <laughs> he's still only 20 years old, so we'll see how he goes. He's playing in the championship this time rather than Scotland, so he will get used to... He'll get used to seeing what what's the go around in England. Uh, Ben's gone on loan to Borussia Mönchengladbach of all places. Hopefully he actually gets some game, game time <coughs> there to develop. That would be nice. Um, he's played once already, so that's good to see. A couple of the better, better players that we got, Andreas uh, Vazquez. He's off on loan to um, Inter. So you know, he should get some decent game time at Inter. He'll develop pretty well. He's a really good centre-back anyway, but since we've got so many centre-backs in, thought he should get some game time, so we loaned him out. Michael obafemi has gone on loan. He's off to Norwich City. They are in the Premier League, but they're paying 300k per month, so or 30k, 300k in total. So it's not too bad. We're making money on the guy, um, despite the fact that he was uh, a better striker last season 17 games five goals for assists it's actually not too bad um but he was complaining about game time and with Guliano, uh, the better striker at the moment just felt like doing that uh, matthew gibbons has gone on loan to birmingham city under 23s dominic herbal uh, left us obviously you might have seen that he's gone to ingolstadt uh on a free he didn't get a didn't want to sign a new contract but he was loaned out anyway we did lose a bit of money on there. We saw Zilluk, um, got Jake Leach as well. He went to Huddersfield for 78. Charlie Williams Hall was gone to Bournemouth for 81. Lee Smith, yeah, and everyone else you've you've already seen. So that is it so far. Branislav Markovic, you come back from Everton on, after his loan spell at Everton. And uh, fantastic to say, three games, three assists, one goal. So absolutely uh ecstatic with his form at the moment he is playing very well and yeah that is pretty much that i'll show you a couple of our all of our friendlies um so we played eastly then we played Boca juniors we went to america and played north carolina and charlotte came back we did our saint mary's cup we beat newcastle in the semi-finals a 2-1 victory and then ix 1-0 in the final thanks to branislav markovic in the 90th minute to win that and then played uh Ado den haag bordeaux dynamo moscow and lille before following that up we started the premier league with a 2-0 a 2-1 victory over arsenal they only managed to get a craig johnson uh, consolation goal in the 92nd minute Doku and Branislav both scoring on their debuts, which is lovely to see. Follow that up, 3-0 victory over Watford. Branislav again, he got a double. And then Mohamed Koulibaly. We didn't follow that up with a 3-2 loss to Sheffield, which was not great. We absolutely got destroyed in the first 25 minutes. Ryan Brewster scoring two and Antoine Hackford scoring in the 24th. Balatic came... To rescue us uh, a little bit you know, with the 38 and the 50th minute but we couldn't find an equalizer or a winner but then we followed that up with a 3-2 victory over Aston Villa which was lovely to see again um, they sort of got the equalizer or they scored the first goal 45th minute we came back with a Guliano penalty Baladic scored uh, straight after half time and then Grady Dean Garner not too far along after, and then they scored uh, to get another consolation and make the game a little bit more uh, scary for us in the 84th. But anyway, today we're going to be playing Valencia and Norwich, or should I say Norwich and Valencia, sorry. But yeah, looking forward to it. Should be a good season, hopefully. Hopefully. Should be too hard. Hopefully not. Um, yeah, we need to do... Uh, I don't think we'll be doing another title challenge. Although with 
some of the players. I mean, if we can get the same sort of thing as what we had last time, I will be stoked. Um, Doku is still injured. Oh, Lauza. Uh, we'll chuck on Staminak, I guess. And Redmond can come on. And Wilford unavailable should be gone. And Ferrin can go on the bench. Uh, yep, there we go. That is going to be our team. And that is pretty much the first team that we've been playing so far this season. We've got Biglow, Matthews, Sturgio, Louise, Lamptey, Halliday, Kulabali, Staminik, Viangana, Balatic, and Guliano. If you're wondering why Balatic is starting, Yenizai uh, was injured for a little bit. Uh, lower back stress fracture. What was that? Oh, that was only in July, but he was, yeah, he was out for eight weeks. So, yeah, that's why he is uh, not starting. But there we go. That is going to be the team. Only one change from the last match. Marco Staminik for Lauza. We should be winning. So we're going to tell the boys to go out there and uh, do the business for us, hopefully. Dean Garner with the free kick. Halliday. So close. Guy doesn't score very often for us, but he is crucial for the way that we play. He is our N'Golo Kante. Halliday is our N'Golo Kante. The English N'Golo Kante. How many times can I say N'Golo Kante? I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. He's been our best player so far. 7.1, or was 7.1, it's gone. I want to play Lee Matthews a bit more, um, just because he's he's developing very well, but he obviously doesn't play a full season. It's mainly, uh, we've got the ball here, Guliano's through. Oh, what a save from Maximiano. It's, this game was the one um, last season that I, was it Norwich that we should have won? That if we'd won it, we would have won the league. If we'd won the other two, I'm pretty sure it was Norwich last season. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, it was Villa, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I'm wrong. We did beat Norwich anyway. Um, but so far, nil, nil. Let's give um, the boys a bit of a rock up at half time. See what they're up to. God, Cantwell is injured. Balatic is tired. So what we're going to do, Dean Garner's coming on. Balatic's coming off for Redmond. And we'll see if that makes much of a difference. Really hope this game's not a nil-nil, because that would be boring. Andre Louise not playing his best game. He's already got a yellow card. So we worry about a Norwich free kick. Although Andre Louise uh, gets the header away. And Dean Garner, fantastic pace on him. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? Straight to Guliano, straight in the back of the net. Love to see it. Get in. Dean Garner hardly played last season because of the ACL injury, but it's clearly not hampered his ability to run or his pace or anything. He's still a crucial element getting an assist and helping the team. Love to see it. Fantastic. Okay, that's not ideal. While time is running out, Muhammad Koulibaly is um, injured and I've made all the subs, so twisted knee doesn't look good. I've, already, I've taken off Halliday for Orellana. And what is Dean Garner going to do? Oh, he's come close to a goal to go with his assist. He really wants that man of the match performance. So, yeah, we're down a man. Muhammad Koulibaly is buggered um, but that is it that is the game we've won one nil um, well done boys it was a good win granted we probably will have to do better in other games but yeah did bring on the Met Musa uh, Mesut just off the bench uh, how long's the injury okay four to five days it's not too bad um, so yeah we'll bring you back for uh, Valencia very shortly okay fair few changes uh, to squad for the game. We've got Terry coming in for Biglow. 
Lee Matthews is going to stay out. Sturgio Louise is staying out. Walker Peters is coming in for Lamptey. We've got Halliday staying. Uh, Orellana's coming in for Kulabali. Ferran and Redmond, Yanazai and Markovic up top. Big Lowe's on goal. Uh, on the bench, uh, Saar, Lamptey, Lauza, Wilson, Balatic and Guliano. Let's get into the game. Hopefully I haven't made too many substitutions that will... Uh, Annoy the team. The formation looks good. Yen as I starting was a terrible call. Baron still. But we'll, 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 let's go. Pressure's off. It's our first Champions League game. We're playing away from home at the Mastala. They've got a decent team. I don't know what most of their stats are, but we're in decent form. Four wins from five. Most of the players have done very well for us so far. Juventus have obviously already won their game, as you can see there. So, do the squad huddles. Get ready. Come on, boys. We need the victory. See some of the other Champions League um, group stages there. The victory would be amazing. But at this stage, we probably also would take a draw as well. I mean, it's a it's a relatively strong team. I mean, there's probably what three three players that you'd probably switch. You probably wouldn't have Terry in goal. You'd have Lamptey instead of Walker Peters, and you'd have Koulibaly in there instead of Orellana. Everyone else is in and around that first team anyway. Should be in for a cracker, although not much has happened so far. Valencia just winning the position battle. Had a lot more shots than us. The XG is better. Looks like I might go into halftime nil nil. All right. Well, like the first highlight of the entire game, and it has come after half time. As we are going to pick it up from the back and see what we can do. And as I nods it down, Markovic. He shoots, but it's so, so close. Just goes wide. It might be time to make a substitution. Yanazai off for Balatic. We know how good he is off the bench. Can he continue and do that in the Champions League as well? Well, we'll have to see. Terry's done a fantastic job in a goal. Not that I've seen too many highlights to, uh, to tell you that he's made some saves, but apparently he has made some saves. Um, I think we might chuck Farron up further. Halliday comes in. You go to support and you go to the deep lying playmaker on support. And we'll try that because that sometimes works for us. That formation. It could be the our downfall, but it might not. So Wait and see. Sturgio now to Balletic. Here he goes. You know when this man gets on the ball, he's likely to score. But apparently not today. You know when he gets on the ball, he is just going to rinse a few players as well, though. Getting a few more highlights towards the end of the game now. Farron, oh, he tried to get it into Redmond, but no such luck. Although Redmond has won the battle. Lee Matthews whips in a cross, and what did I say? Alexander Balatic. I am ecstatic. This might be the best ever signing I have made. No other player has made such an instant impact on the team like Alexander Blatt in any save, whether I've done this on YouTube or not. In the years that I've played Football Manager, this man has been phenomenal. No words can describe just how world-class this player has been so far for us. Every time he wants something off the bench, bang, it's Balatic. You bring him off, he will do, he will either create the chance or he'll score it. He'll have something to do with it. He's insane. Well, Peter's into Redmond now. There we go. That's two for us. 2-0 against Valencia. Let's get in. Uh, we're going to bring off Orlana for Wilson and we'll bring Saar on for... For, I was going to say Kyle Walker Peters, but actually, yeah, Kyle. Oh, it's got the yellow card. 
Um, bring him off for Sturgio. Sure, there we go. Kind of missed a few passes going around, but that is fine. We're winning top of our group because, man, Juventus only won by one goal. That's a good sliding challenge from Matthews. I thought that was going to be a penalty. Apparently it was good. Jamie Wilson and Malang Sa now on. We will add the opposition instructions to mark that player. It looks like the uh, tactical change, moving Halliday up to midfield and Ferran up to attacking midfield, seems to have paid off for us. As we look to see out the game, only three minutes to go. Four minutes of added time. Solar. He's literally just ran straight through the player there, but Terry made a great, good save, and he's kept a clean sheet. Fantastic result away in Valencia. Come away with a 2-0 victory. Mike Terry with a 7.8 man of the match performance. Very happy. It was a fantastic win for us. First... First win in the Champions League ever. Fantastic from Southampton. Very stoked with that. Anyway, with that all said and done, two wins uh, there. We are going to go into the game against Juve and Manchester United in the next game. So I'll play these three games off camera. Blackburn, Brighton in the Carabao Cup and Leicester City. Hopefully we're not getting knocked out in the third round for three seasons in a row now, something along those lines at least. But no, we'll bring you back Juventus and Manchester United very shortly. So thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.